We look to have confirmation that Intel's 18 core chips, as well as more than likely the 14 and 16 cores, won't be coming until next year. So let's talk about all this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before we get started, for anyone in the US, Ryzen 7 has had some pretty fantastic price drops. I'll have affiliate links for those in the description. So I've been asked a few times to give my take on the whole Core X, X299, and Threadripper deal. And after Linus's video yesterday, I didn't really feel the need. But now, WCCF Tech, I know I'll probably get some flack for that, but hear me out. They found where an ASUS representative at their forums, the 18 core chips won't be available until next year. And understandably, we can reason to believe the 14 and 16 core CPUs will suffer a similar fate with them being on the same die. Now, I have somewhat two minds about this. First, it's so very clear the higher tier models were only announced to one-up AMD, but I think it's ridiculous to announce a product you weren't anywhere near done with. Think of it like this. A toy company announces a really cool new line of toy cars that can hover. Their competitor, well, of course, they first check for patents and things like that, but as long as there aren't any, comes out and says, well, we've got an even better hovering car that hovers four inches off the ground instead of three. Oh, you... You want to see pictures or some other kind of proof? Well, it's not coming until next year. Then they begin working on it. That's ridiculous. Whether the company is capable of doing it or not, which of course Intel is. I'm not saying they're incapable of doing the 18 core or 16 core and all that. Obviously they are. It's even fine to let us know a product is coming, but the way it was announced was more of a product release with a slight delay and clearly a coming soon type deal. Well, at least if Asus is accurate, it's not coming anytime soon. And really that just makes it ever so more clear that this was a reaction to the rumor of AMD's Threadripper and ultimately leads to a rush product now my second thought may not be as popular but i want to be honest in a way all this is a good thing and does nothing but solidify the importance of competition in business and i honestly think intel is getting a little too much flack for it hold on i can hear the anger begin to rise already give me just a second literally any company from the beginning of time begins to gain complacency while being on top it's only natural why work that much harder when you're already the best when you already make a ton of money with slight incremental changes, it's extremely difficult to continuously blow everyone away with an awesome new product. It really is. So why do it when you can coast? Like I said, it, it's natural. It really is. And I'm not trying to make excuses for them, but it, it's just the truth. There's really no reason to. So while I think the way in which it's been handled is honestly quite poor, we really should be happy for the stirring of the pot. Many have stated they're ready to see how this will affect Intel, and guess what? It has. And that's awesome. Not because I want them to lose or go out of business or anything like that, but because almost nothing spurs innovation like a good old-fashioned rivalry. When everything's going great, why try to mix it up? You don't. And hey, there's also something to be said about rushing. I think AMD has suffered at least some issues with what seemed to be a rushed AM4, but if Intel is rushed a little too much, it could ultimately hurt sales. So either way, they will be paying for their mistake if that's what they've done. Ultimately, AMD has certainly stirred things up and is helping to push both themselves and Intel to new heights. Basically, this is quite an exciting time to be a hardware and tech enthusiast. So I know that was a really quick video, but I just wanted to get it out there. But let me know what you think. I really love hearing your ideas and thoughts on what I discuss. Are you excited for the future of tech? Do you think the whole going to get more efficient but not as powerful thing Intel said a while back has been thrown out the window thanks to AMD? Let me know in the comments below. And definitely don't forget to check out the GamerMail Discord server. We talk about these types of topics all the time. I'll have that linked in the description. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.